running and singing the songs coming down and just because you know we can't just I don't you don't know but we just don't <laughs> stay in our seats when it's us we're everywhere like around the arena dancing and my body hurts from last night when I woke up this morning I did not have a voice hmm. it was just like we was just having a good time we was having a real good time. I really wasn't a fan of. I really wasn't a fan of the opening. I was ready for. I was like, well, damn, ain't no partying and none of that. Like, cause I really did not know the set list. Like, I made well, cause sure you didn't want to. I didn't, didn't want to know. know the set list. Yeah, I did, and I didn't go on wiki and look. Mm -hmm. I didn't. So I was like, ooh, this is odd. I tried to tweet it, but. No signal. It was no service in there, yeah. No service, no signal. You know what? That's the first time, true, too, like, where you really... Because it's... I don't know too many of her shows. I don't know any of her shows that I've been to that where I've ever been to where like it starts that. slow. Mm -mm. None of her shows that I've ever been to started slow. They all started on a, you know... Yeah. But like I said, when she popped up from that fucking stage and everybody seen her and we were screaming and hollering and then... Yeah. She started singing Dangerous in Love. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. But she was killing the ballads. Yeah. I, Mikkel, the voice. The voice. The voice. Remember we talked about that like a few weeks ago? <laughs> yeah. Remember I said that? I said, damn, yeah. she's singing. Yeah. Well, last night she was singing. Mm-hmm. And then I love how she was singing and then she would be talking and you heard the deep raspiness in her voice. Right. She, her speaking voice. Mm -hmm. But then, baby, when she was singing... <laughs> You know what? Okay, so I'm gonna just say this because I'm we gonna I'm gonna be all over the place. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna be all over the place. So, uh, one of the things that me and my friends were talking about after the show was the production. Yeah, J just how everything was amazing. First of all, the okay. stage was unbelievable. I'm gonna tell you. That was an unbelievable stage. First of all, she looked so small on that massive stage, mm -hmm. and then to to. to to, to know that she actually moved around that entire, entire stage, stage as massive as it was. I'm like, this is a huge stage. But the production, the sound, mm -hmm. <laughs> the visuals, the it was just it was just like whoa, everything, everything was on point. The everything dancers, point. the singers, the band. I felt like when she was doing that opening. Because, mm. first of all, we weren't even in the seats yet. When I was still started. trying to find okay. the seats. While she's singing Dangerously in Love, mm. it just felt like... You know how you in one of those... Um, this is what I'm going to say. It was like you're in an intimate setting. Mm. And it's just her voice. Mm -hmm. And she was just singing Dang. those songs. Mm -hmm. And Dangerously in Love. And then, all of a sudden, the crowd... Was just fucking taking over the song. Yeah, <laughs> the crowd. Took that's, over. that's Philly. That's For Philly. you, yeah, that's, that's Philly. Philly. The crowd took over. She said I something. Like, to one why? point of the show, she said, "You know, the last time I was here in Philly, y'all showed out. Y'all showed out again." Yeah. So she knows. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows when you come to Philly. Yeah. Especially when Beyonce comes to Philly, mm -hmm. it's gonna be. You're never gonna hear nobody say a bad thing about a Beyonce Philly show. No, because everybody sh Philly shows out when Beyonce comes in. Yeah. And, and I showed mean, out last night. I seen so much silver. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I was like, okay, Kevin, okay. I got silver on my shirt. Oh my, Kevin! I seen glittery hats. <laughs> I've seen fucking glittery outfits, glittery <laughs> boots, Ernest glittery bronze. <laughs> First of all, let me say something to Ernest Owens. You're a bold bitch, okay? Because you know we kind of we kind of big, mm. but I wouldn't. I don't. I don't have the balls to go out like that. And he did it. He has the shorts, the boots, the mesh. Let me tell you something. Nothing. Er, let me tell you something. I see so many outfits. Ernest does not. No, we're not talking about <laughs> Ernest because Ernest was Beyonce compared to a <laughs> lot of the fucking people that I saw. Okay. And when Beyonce got on that stage and said, I see I seen your outfits. Oh <laughs> shit. Know. I said to myself, child, they had a She's camera. Lying. <laughs> Kevin, there were so many asses that was out mm -hmm. where I was at. The back, the pants, and then the ass part of the pants. I seen a lot. Uh, uh, I was like, and here I am walking around talking about my damn stomach, mm -hmm. and y'all walking around like this. 
Well, somebody's gonna love it anyway. <laughs> it's something for everybody. Okay. No, I'm not. Talking, I'm just saying the fact that they're out in public at yeah. a concert like this. Yeah. But this was the concert to be at like that. Yeah. I'm glad I had a, a clean black shirt yeah. with Beyonce's picture on there because it, I'm kind of body conscious. Like I, you know, my stomach is kind of big from the side. I wore this today, and I'm like, oh, you look pregnant from the side. Like, but down they, they, the guys don't say nothing. So you know what? Like, Guys are fucking horse if you let them. Well, bitch, <laughs> you are that horse. <laughs> and you have a real good time. Get you hey, hey. <laughs> right. So, first of all, let me tell y'all something. Getting these tickets. Whatever you got to do to get the tickets, I'm going to tell you this. Get the tickets, okay? I was there for a good... 45 minutes before something happened. Where? At the show. For no, over an hour. What is that? It's a gnat. Oh. Because it keeps flying, but. Good hour into the show. Wait. Okay. okay. I'm just say this. Y'all can watch that show on YouTube. I call myself looking at this on YouTube. No, bitch. Looking at what on YouTube? The show. What show? The concert. Oh. It does nothing. Like a, a um, you have to be like this live crowd. You have to be there in person. Yeah, you gotta be there in person. Whatever ticket you can get. Right. I'm gonna tell you, don't get the side. Get the front, cause you want a full visual of the screen. Of the screen, right? You want to see what's going on, how her mouth moves, uh, and uh, I mean, you want to see all expressions. Of that. You want to see all of that. Um. Club Renaissance didn't seem like it was too packed like I seen in the other cities. You know, no, it was packed. I think it was the way it was set up. But it looked like you had room. Yeah, be, and that's because. So I know exactly what you're talking about. So oh, I wish I had a piece of paper. What's the name? It was packed. It was just that the way Club Renaissance was, there was a lot of. Um, I don't know. I, it's hard for me to explain, but I know what you meant. Yeah. But it was packed. Mm -hmm. It was packed. It was packed. Because remember, but I was sitting, room room and I was sitting like... where I was at for a good two hours. So I watched Club Renaissance mm -hmm. grow. Right. Um, I just think the room that you probably saw was so many people trying to get closer to the stage. part of the stage where she was at. Right, but the you know some you know people were recording and stuff. Right. Like I was like, okay, everybody's not really on top, top of, of each other. other. But then like, I remember like, too, Club there. Renaissance. All that money too. Yeah, <laughs> bitch. Thousand dollars, just yeah. about. And yeah, no, yeah. she wasn't getting it for me. See, I think that if you, <laughs> I think if you get, if you pay for something like that, for that much money, you better get there super early. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I would hate to. The be doors there. was open in that one. I heard. One they were open early because Butter was in Club Renaissance, and I was at home getting ready to take a nap before the concert when he posted a video of him in Club Renaissance already. So they were there early. If I was there that early, that yeah. heat, I would have passed. Out. I know. I would have been so I know. Drunk. I been remember. That's show. why I said I couldn't. I couldn't do it this time. I just could not stand. I couldn't do it. And then as hot as it was yesterday, it was ninety-two degrees yesterday here in Philly. Mm -hmm. Ninety. And at nine, but, at seven o'clock last night, it was ninety degrees. Yeah. But you know what? <laughs> By the time Macau, hang on, I was so lit before we got to the stadium. I didn't even care about the heat. Like, I don't even think I sweated. Well, see, by the time she actually came on stage, the sun had just, just started down. going down. It started sunset. It started going down. Yeah. So, all that 7 o'clock, no. That show that's was seven, seven. Yeah, but I think that, sh I think what they should start, what these venues should start doing, don't say the show starts at 7. Just say the mm -hmm. doors open, open at, at seven. 7. Yeah. Because a lot of people were sitting in the section be like, wait, what's taking so long? Because I thought the show started at yeah. 7. But of course it couldn't start at seven because the stadium wasn't even filled at seven. No. You know what I mean? But they need to say and you know starts, us trying yeah. to get there, waiting for a ride, trying to get an Uber, all this and that. Okay, let me just go back to Beyonce herself. Mm -hmm. So this is something that I noticed while I was watching the show because I was standing there like a proud little cousin watching her. I was just smiling from ear to ear, like the whole show. I was just smiling. Wow. One of the things that I noticed that one of my friends brought up when we were on our way home and I was like, oh my God, I, I was thinking that to myself, is that Beyonce is not just the entertainer, but she's also a behind the scenes person. Mm -hmm. 
I say that because she, she knew everything. where every fucking camera was at during each performance. Her face went to every camp. Like, it's like she knew mm-hmm. where that camera was going to be at. Mm-hmm. So when it was time to look, <laughs> she looked. <laughs> One part of the show, I love this part of the show when the dancers was dancing with her. I can't remember what song it was. And they had like this old school handheld camera and they brought it to her. And she held it in her hand while she was performing and she was singing in it. And it and the way the, the screen was going, like it was going like a vintage screen. And she did... I can't remember what performance it was, but half the performance she did it with the camera in her hand holding it. And I was just like, bitch! Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> like, this that's when you know she's also a part of the behind the scenes shit. It's like, because right. she knew where every camera mm-hmm. was. Even the cameras that was flying above her. Mm-hmm. When it was time to look up and sing, she looked up and sang. It was like she looked up just as the camera it was like, yo, how did she know that camera was right there? <laughs> because she practiced this show a million yeah. times. You know how she is. Yeah. We know how she is. But why is it? Can, it's so crazy because when you think about her, mm. you be saying to yourself, why can't other people be like this? Why can't other people? Stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Be stop like it. this. Like, <laughs> you be like, why? It's like, if she stop. can do it, why can't they do it? Because. It's like, what because the hell? Because these artists don't have artist development. <laughs> don't. They don't have, they don't have A&Rs. They don't even have publicists. They don't have nothing. It's just them and they're going out there and they're doing whatever they want to do. And you have someone that is serious about their craft mm-hmm. and she's like the only one from our generation mm-hmm. growing up right now that has it. Like these new people, yeah, you want to love them, but it's like mm-hmm. uh like we had the last era we had Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Beyonce, Pink, um, Alicia, Alicia Keys. I haven't. I've never been on one of her shows. But well, she was here the other day. First of yeah, all, I, I thought did. it was in August. Yeah, I didn't know it was now. Yeah, it's July tenth. See, Alicia, Alicia Keys right. ain't making no noise no, no more like she used to. No, she's not. She's not. I didn't even know. No, she's not. I kept seeing the bubblegum picture, and but I'm like, well, when is she coming? Like these people, like are artists. Y'all new people, y'all come from TikTok, mm-hmm. YouTube, Twitter, and y'all just make it work. Y'all can't, I don't know nobody right now that's new that can come out and do a stadium right now. Right. I mean, other than Taylor Swift. Yeah, but I mean, she's just, yeah, that's, mm. you know, she's not too far behind. Right, me. yeah, she's not. Because she's been out for a while. But none of these girls right now, and I and I would like to see that. Well, let's put it like this. None of these girls that have been doing it as long as Beyonce, because Beyonce said it last night at the show. She said, I've been doing this for 25 years. Five years. years. Mm-hmm. She sure did. 25. She said, I've been doing this for 25 years. And that puts it into a perspective. There's a lot of people who have been doing it from her from her generation. I ain't talking about the Billy Joes and the Bruce Springs things. Those people who we know sell out stadiums. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about people from her, her era, era who are selling out stadiums after being I in the game for 25 years. I have never been to a Pink concert, mm-hmm. but I know she's coming in September, and I want to go. We'll go. I am. But I want I want somebody to go with. I just don't want to go by myself. Well, you'll find somebody but, to go with. Pink got a lot of fucking hits. Mm-hmm. And where's she playing at? Same place. The Lincoln Link Financial. Or is it is either the Link or Citizens? Mm-hmm. These these so both of them are stadiums, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, either one, you know. One. Like I wanna go because Pink got some fun songs and I just know that it's gonna be a good show. Like, but it's not a lot of people who can do stadiums. I think Usher could probably do a stadium now because so many people have been raving about the Vegas about show. Vegas show. Mm-hmm. Usher, it's time for you to go to stadiums. Mm-hmm. And I kind of, I, I do kind of wish Beyonce had an opening that. Even even if it was a DJ like mm-hmm. she was doing before, because it would have kept the crowd entertained, right? Because we weren't entertained. Beyonce, we weren't entertained. We, <laughs> I know I wasn't. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I yeah. sat in that seat for almost two hours waiting for you to come on that stage, and I was just like, Shut up. even if she had people that do podcasts, like, right. I mean, we haven't done one in a long time, but a podcast, you got people talking, entertained. Mm-hmm. 
and stuff like that. I think that would be... Bitch, has there ever been a podcast as an opening act? I don't know. I don't know. Good question. Hmm, I'm on to something. Right. Let me shut my mouth. But I'm going to just say this. The, 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 the whole... Sh- First of all, there were three stars at last night's show. Mm-hmm. The first star was Beyonce. But then that's <laughs> to be determined. Because when her daughter came out... <laughs> Yeah, by that time I was outside. When our daughter came out, that stadium went went off. I was wondering, well, who is coming out? I said, <laughs> I said, who was coming out? Because they screaming so loud. I'm thinking Jay Z got on stage or something. Bitch, when Blue Ivy popped up from the bottom of that fucking stage like her mother, <laughs> that stadium went. Off. Oh, yes, they did. I mean, they went off. Mm-hmm. And to think that she had a whole. She had. Blue Ivy had her own uh, set. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it was kind of long. It was. You know, it wasn't like. <laughs> I seen the video. Because I seen it and I was like, this is not two seconds. No. Okay. No. No. She was out no. there. And then when she was finished, her set, she mm-hmm. stood there and the crowd went off for her. Oh, and, uh, Beyonce was smiling from mm-hmm. ear to ear. Just. I mean, she was so happy. Oh, yeah. it was a beautiful... Oh, it was so I beautiful. I hope that they're doing yes. a documentary. But...